Hi everyone, so now we'll talk about life cycle methods in React Native. And guys, if you want to know the weightage, importance of these life cycle methods, then you need to know just these two points. First one, you cannot create any React Native application without life cycle method. So let's say you are working on uh, just nano project, like four or five files that could be possible without life cycle methods. But if you are creating at least mid level average project, then you must have to use life cycle methods. Second thing, in interviews, again, there will be two or three interview question on uh, life cycle methods in React Native as well as in React also, right? And life cycle methods cannot cover in a single video. So we will learn life cycle methods properly in upcoming uh, four or five videos also, right? So this will be a bit long topic. So we will cover it properly because this is uh, really important as I told you. And guys, one more thing, this is a theoretical video. In this video, we will not write any kind of code, but there will be lots of interview questions. And from next video, we will jump on the examples and other things about life cycle method. So what we will learn in this video? First of all, we will learn that what are life cycle methods in layman language and in React Native in both ways. After that, we will talk about phases of life cycle methods, when these life cycle method will be executed in our application and some other interview questions in uh, about the life cycle methods in uh, this video at last, right? So first thing is what is life cycle? So see, in everything in world has its our own life cycle methods. Like uh, if you are talking about baby, car, bike, human, laptop, mobile, everything has its life cycle method. It means uh, that thing every or you can say that everything will be created. After that, it will be just uh, getting changed uh, with time. And after that, that will be got destroyed, right? And here you can see that this is just a human life cycle. Firstly, a baby will be born. After that, uh, there will be lots of changes like uh, uh, child, teenager, adult. There will be marriage, uh, degree. There is a lots of thing, right? So everything will be getting changed. And at the last, uh, the person will be dead. So with the same way in React Native also component is created after that uh, there will be lots of changes. It will be updated with props and states and at last we can uh, destroy them or you can say that we can unmount them, right? So there will be three phases in the life cycle method in React Native and React JS. First one is mounting. Mounting means when your component is just mounted in UI or you can see that render on UI. After that, uh, the second uh, phases of life cycle methods when your component will be getting updated with the states, props, right? And last one is unmounting. So whenever your component will be removed from UI. Some guys can be confused with the last point, like how could a component will be removed from UI? Yes, that could be possible. So for example, let's say you are on profile screen and after that uh, you are just clicking on any icon and you jumped on a uh, setting component. Whenever you will just jump on second uh, setting component, that time your profile component is unmounted or removed from the UI. All right. Next, next thing. So when these lifecycle method will be executed. So whenever your component will be rendered first time, or you can say that whenever your component will be just uh, patch inside the UI, uh, your lifecycle method will be executed. Second thing. Uh, whenever your component will update it with the props or uh, states or there will be some errors that time we can say that this is the second updating uh, phase of your component and that time again uh, lifecycle method will be executed and last one whenever your component is removed from UI or you can say that your component is unmounted from UI all right so there can be uh, some question in your mind first thing can like uh, in every step, there will be only one life cycle method will be executed or in all phases, all steps, there are a different, different life cycle methods. Yes, there are different, different life cycle methods on every phase, right? So let's say uh, there is a different life cycle method for uh, your rendering your component then different for updating and different for unmounting. And uh, second thing you can, maybe you can ask like, uh, are they uh, life cycle methods will execute uh, uh, with your application or components they are actually attached or executed with your component so let's say in your application if there is a hundred components then every component has its different life cycle methods all right okay so how we will use these life cycle methods that could be our interview question uh, like uh, how 
we can use life cycle methods in functional component because mostly we are using uh, functional component nowadays these in days in react native and uh, uh, react js so you can say that we will use hooks for life cycle methods and how we can use definitely we'll learn in the upcoming videos right so that's all for this part and guys if you have any query question you can ask me in the comment box and thank you so much for watching this video and this is my Patreon number for donation thank you guys